Are you looking to get access to capital to grow your business, but you don't want to give up equity or control of your company in the process? Well, today I'm going to be talking about the top four business loan types available out here. So I'll also give you some recommendations on some top business loan brokers that you can actually leverage to be able to get access to the most competitive loans available as well. Alrighty, so if that interests you, be sure you stay tuned. Now, when it comes to actual qualifications, I'll be sure to touch on those points, but I have seen that typically you need to be in business for at least six months, and you're more than likely going to have to have around a 600 FICO score, depending on what type of loan it is, okay? But let's go ahead and jump into it. The first one's going to be lines of credit, okay? You can get a line of credit, and typically, it's going to be more of like, I like to compare it to credit cards, right? But it's a lot more versatile in the sense that you can pretty much, once you tap this line of credit, you're giving cash cash it's not necessarily that you need to go with a card and swipe it somewhere so it's a lot more versatile because you're now able to use cash in a lot of places more places than you would be able to use credit cards now the way this typically works is you don't get charged any type of interest until you actually drawing from that line of credit but i've also seen up to 18 month terms meaning that you will have to pay it off whatever amount that you take out within 18 months now, typically to qualify for this, you're going to need to use your bank statements to verify. They pretty much want to see that you have the cash flow to be able to get access to whatever amount of line of credit that you're trying to get. Also, you're going to need to be in business for the six months and you're going to need around a 600 FICO score. The next one's going to be income based line of credit. Now, this one's going to be leveraging your payment processors, and this is something that I really love that's now available nowadays. You see, this space used to be mostly just big banks that were offering, you know, bank loans to businesses, but they were typically only offering it to really large, well-established businesses. Now this whole market's been disrupted because of fintech providers out there. So there's companies out there like Stripe, PayPal, and Shopify, for example, that what they do is they leverage your payment processor. Okay, right. These guys are all payment processors. And what they do is they can see how much you're doing in terms of transaction value. Right. They can see how much volume that you have coming in through their platforms. And based off of that, they're going to give you an offer based off of that dollar amount of processing that you have every month. Right. So they can say, you know, we know for a fact that if we gave Tommy ten thousand dollars because he's doing, you know, three thousand dollars a month through our platform then we know that he will be able to pay us off within six months within eight months within ten months whatever the case may be and the way they take their money is because you have that revenue coming in they just take a portion of your processing revenue to recoup that loan amount so they know for sure they'll never have an issue with you actually paying them because they're literally taking it straight from the source now the next one we're going to touch on is term loans these are going to be one of the more familiar types of loan business loans that are available out there now these you need to be in business at least two years and you're typically going to need a 660 FICO score or higher. Now, also, your interest rate is typically going to be a 7.99% or more. But because of the change of rates recently, it's hard to know exactly how much you would pay in terms of interest. Now, the terms are typically going to be one to four years, depending on what exactly you need the money for. But guys, this is still a great source when it comes to you actually being able to get access to capital, especially if you know exactly how to leverage that money. What I mean by that is I wouldn't necessarily get a term loan for, you know, I want to start a new venture, right? Or I want to launch a new segment of my business. It would more likely be me leveraging a term loan because of, you know, I need more capital to grow this part of my business a lot faster. The reason why I word it like that is because one, you know, there's already certainty there in a the sense that, you know, I have a business that's already doing a certain amount of money and I know that I need to pour more fuel on the fire to kind of speed up the growth. That's a good time to use a term loan. Whereas if I'm trying to, let's say, break into a new industry or I'm trying to break into the market with a new product line, I wouldn't want to leverage a term loan to use that money to actually, you know, uh, manufacture a new product that I'm not sure would work. That's kind of how I look at it. Right. And again, it just it depends on you and your risk profile. But me, I'm more of the type of person that if I'm leveraging credit, it's more likely to leverage it to continue growing an existing business or an existing business line. Now, the fourth one is going to be equipment loans. OK, this is going to be huge for, you know, truckers out there, farmers, whatever the case may be. Anybody who really needs, you know, large industrial equipment to be able to run their business. Now, the great thing about this is there's no minimum time that you need to be in business. There's no minimum revenue. A FICO score can be as low as a 580. 
and typically the rate's gonna be 8% or higher variable rate. And when it comes to the terms of the loans, it's typically gonna be a one to five year term, okay? But guys, I think that's a, a still a great option to go after, especially if you're someone, for example, I, me, the one that always pops in the head is the trucking industry, right? If you are in the trucking industry and you're looking to expand your operations, there's a lot of truckers out there who don't know that they're able, they can leverage a ton of these different equipment loans to be able to just you know, completely catapult their business, right? Imagine if you're able, you know that the, the routes are out there that you can leverage, but you just don't have enough trucks to be able to take advantage of all those routes, right? If you know that you can find the drivers, you know that you can get a hold of those routes, then why not leverage a bank loan to be able to get these equipment loans and be able to actually use this to, you know, grow your business even faster. As long as you know that the amount of revenue that you're going to have coming in is going to be more than enough to service these loans or pay the debt service on these loans, then to me, it sounds like a no brainer. So my advice with these, what I typically recommend you do is you leverage a business broker to actually track down the best loan options available for your business. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to some of our favorite business broker companies out there down below and they're going to be able to help you actually discover what the best loan is for your business. Okay. Now we currently partnered with Roke Financial and they're an excellent company to partner with and actually help you be able to get that funding you need. And the great thing, what I really love about them is they actually cover even more loan types than we've even discussed here. And what they'll do is they'll actually talk with you first and based off of what information you give them, they're going to try to direct you to the loan option that makes the most sense, right? Some people might think, oh, you know, I need a term loan because I'm trying to buy some farm equipment and they redirect you and say, no, why don't you use an equipment loan? It's a lot less stringent when it comes to how long your company's been in business. You know, the credit score requirements a lot lower, every, things like that, right? So they kind of look at all the different facets and figure out which loan is going to be the, you know, the best one for your business. So I'll go ahead and link to them and every other business broker company that I know down below so you can go ahead and check them out. Now for more resources on building a business, be sure that you check out my playlist here on building business credit to go even deeper on that topic. Uh, besides that guys, be sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you hit the like button down below as well and throw in the comments what other types of videos or content or questions that you might have when it comes to business credit. I'd be happy to answer your questions or even shoot a video on it. Anyways guys, I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.